This has to be the only film that will ever make me laugh at fart jokes. Swiss Army Man is a dramedy fantasy film by the Daniels, also known as Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheinert, starring Paul Dano and Daniel Radcliffe. Third Daniel. This film is about this young man named Hank who is deserted on an island and he's just hopeless and lonely and bored out of his mind with nothing to do because he has no idea how to escape and get back home. So just as he's about to commit suicide, he notices this body on the shore. So he runs over to see if he's alive, but unfortunately he is dead. However, somehow Hank is able to use this corpse by the name of Manny to get off the island and make it to home, except they're still stuck in this wilderness, foresty area. So together they try to make their way through the forest and get back home to humanity. Swiss Army Man was one of my most anticipated films of the summer because I remember seeing the trailer and just being immediately intrigued. And I could tell just by watching the trailer that this is a very weird movie and that is definitely true. This is one of the strangest films I have seen all year, but it's also one of the best. This is an endlessly charming film and from the very first shot I was just hooked into this story and into this world where there's basically no one around except for these two guys and one of them is dead. It's pretty apparent that Hank is going crazy and just he's out of his mind because he hasn't had human interactions for who knows how long. And somehow Manny, the dead body, is talking to Hank. And there's a lot of ambiguity in this film because even by the end of it, you're not really entirely sure what is going on because realistically, there's no way a dead body can do all of these things that he's doing. Number one, he's talking. Number two, he has these weird flatulent powers where he can just kind of ride away and like, it's like a rocket basically. And number three, he can do all of these other things. He's literally a Swiss army man instead of a Swiss army knife. Even though there is a lot of ambiguity that left me having a lot of questions, I actually really liked that because I think that was the entire point of the film. You're not really supposed to know what happened and what is going on exactly, but you're just supposed to see everything through Hank's point of view. This is such an original film and story with amazing performances. Paul Dano and Daniel Radcliffe both were amazing. This movie really relies on both of their performances and not only did they have great chemistry together, but they were just able to build such unique characters that you really grow to care about. Even though one of them is dead, you just can't help but care so deeply about both of these characters. You also really care about their relationship together because it's super easy to sympathize with Hank since obviously he's very lonely, he has nothing to do, he has no one to, you know, comfort him. And with the introduction of Manny, he finally has someone, even though he's dead. As the film goes on, we learn more about Hank, and even though he's a very weird individual, there's a lot to his past that kind of makes you grow to like him even more. And even though he's a super strange dude where you're just like, wow, you kind of have some problems, man. You just can't help but want him to have a happy ending. There was just something really enchanting about this movie that made me really love it. And the entire time, I was just hooked on what was happening and what was going to happen. This film is also surprisingly really funny and I wasn't really expecting that going into this film, but it is classified as being a comedy aside from just a drama and a fantasy. And a lot of the humor is absolutely ridiculous and incredibly weird and even sometimes kind of raunchy, but I thought it was hilarious and I wasn't expecting to laugh as much as I did. Despite all of the extremely weird and sometimes raunchy humor, this film was surprisingly inspiring in a way and it really touched me. There was just something so riveting about these two characters interacting with each other because we know, watching this, that he's dead. Manny is dead, he's not coming back to life, and yet here he is talking to Hank. Even though the audience is entirely aware of the fact that Hank is nuts and out of his mind because he's talking to a corpse, that doesn't ruin the enjoyment of the film at all. Usually things that are very unrealistic will bother me, 
but that didn't bug me at all about this movie. It just left me with questions and made me want to discuss the film. And I think a film that does that is great. Hi, Bobby. I love you. Hi, will you be the manny to my Hank? Hi, I love you. Oh, my baby. You guys can't see her. Oh, I love you. This film also has a really great soundtrack and music is kind of an important element in the movie because Hank is often singing to himself and then Manny will also be singing with him and I thought all the music was just really good. This movie was just so creative and unique and I definitely want to see it again soon because it's definitely the kind of movie that's gonna make you think and it'll be on your mind even hours after watching the film. At least that's how it affected me. I'm gonna give Swiss Army Man a 9.5 out of 10 and buy it on Blu-ray because it is such a fantastically original film that deserves to be rewatched every once in a while. Extremely weird movie, but also extremely captivating. A24, they have just been on their A game lately and all of the movies I have seen by them I thought were fantastic. So props A24. Thank you guys so much for watching my review. If you liked it, please let me know how you felt about it in the comments below and tell me what you think about Swiss Army Man or if you're interested in watching the film as well. This movie is definitely not for everyone and it probably will offend some people, especially with all of the fart jokes in it. So keep that in mind before you decide to watch it. That's it for this review. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Oh.